Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to My Deep Guide. Today is a very different uh, type of a topic, yet on par or on track with what My Deep Guide is about. And we're going to be talking a little bit about the news about the latest BMW iX Flow, I believe is called, a prototype car that uh, uses e-ink technology to allow the car to change its color dynamically on the fly, display information and other things like that. So let's check out one of the many videos that's been uh, kind of shown, but this one for me is interesting because it actually shows and details how they use the e-ink technology and how they went about it. Um, so let's check that out. So here it is, and uh, it's uh, it definitely is something that's impressive and new. So um, I'm not a personally a fan of the whole enormous giant grill that they have on the um, iX Flow, but uh, that's not the focus here. The focus is actually the ability of the car and the uh, the wheels themselves also to change the colors. Now, obviously, since e-ink technology is black and white, this is what we have here is black and white and grayscale options, yet they don't show grayscale really, just kind of, there we go, some grayscale options as well. So essentially how they've achieved that is, uh, obviously they have ginormous panels here, but they're also using these kind of uh, triangle configurations of triangles, as you can see here, which allows the uh, paper to be, or the, the surface, 2D surface, to be uh, laid over curvatures or 3D curvatures of a shape of a car, which is definitely something that's uh, uh, a must for a car like this. That in itself, I think, gives the car a very interesting look, apart from the ability for it to, it, uh, for it to change the colors. So this is definitely an innovative process. But what I find extre extremely interesting here is that uh, the, the uh, giant like a BMW is employing e-ink technology for something like this. So on a coolness scale level, this is really, really high. On the usefulness scale level, not so much. And you can see actually in the video that they are struggling with the uh, justification of uh, what's it for. And they have like every video that you look, there's like three reasons that they give. And the first one is the customization and personalization. So if you're able to change your status on your social media, you can change the color of your car. Well, not really. You can change the shade of your car because it's still just going to be grayscale, black or white, or it can have kind of um, stripes. But I think maybe they should have focused on, you can change the design of your car. And that's what should have been kind of shown, stripes on the sides, uh, personalization with uh, non-swear words on the sides, because you just know that there's going to be people who are going to have enough money to buy this, they're going to flash it all around and then they're going to display all sorts of immature things on the side of the car, but that's kind of uh, beside the point. So that's their point number one is, uh, yeah, the personalization thing. And the point number two is like, uh, <laughs> if you get lost, if you lose the car, they can make the car flash and then you can locate it with the periphery of your vision. It's like, okay, if that's your number two and you're already at that one, you're, you're like really grasping at straws. And that the third one is not really grasping at straws. The third one is actually more than the flashing one in the parking lot. Um, is actually that they can change, you can change the property of the color and then change if the heat is absorbed or reflected, right? Which is definitely a cool thing to have because um, what would be actually interesting is to see if it's possible to combine e-ink with solar cells as well. And if you incorporate that on an electrical car, that could be something quite, quite interesting. As it is now, I think it's quite of an interesting thing and they miss in their, you know, kind of reasonings for this. They miss the obvious one. It's cool. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with doing an innovative thing like this just because it's cool and just because you can you know so that one i think they should have had the guts to actually say because it's tremendous amount of uh, uh effort and um and money that goes into 
creating something like that. It's not just managing the the uh, e-ink panels and to kind of cut them to shape and everything. There's like tremendous amount of electronic hooking up and programming all of this to actually get all the panels to work. Um, as you can see, all the wires there for testing. So this is why I found that video interesting because it's showing the real thing how it works. And you can also see the faults. This is something that I like when you actually see like on the creases here, you can see some of the faults of the individual ones. And I like seeing that because I know it's the real thing. They could have faked it with a CG. They could have brushed over it or something, but they didn't. And I appreciate that quite a bit. So definitely a very, very interesting concept here and uh, an exciting thing to see that a car is changing colors all thanks to the e-ink technology. So what are your thoughts on the BMW iX Flow color or shade changing uh, car? What would you do to personalize your car? Um, and before I go, like, um, what do we think about this? Yeah, it's cool. How practical is it? I really don't know because first of all, this is going to like getting this kind of technology into a production state of thing. That's I don't see that happening yet. And second of all, even the tiniest of the bumps is going to break your uh, e-ink cells and uh, e-ink cells and panels are extremely expensive. So this is, um, yeah, it's in the realm of science fiction and it's not something that I think we're going to see on the streets yet. And if you do, it's going to, if you do see it on the streets, it's going to cost you a lot, especially if you have a tiny little uh, bump in a parking lot or something like that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a bad one. Plus probably the insurance premium for a car like this is going to go way up because of that. So practicality thing, I really don't think this is a practical thing. Um, not until e-ink technology goes up, but this is why I think this is a very important thing to kind of give a uh, spotlight to and it's because a giant like BMW incorporating and adopting e-ink technology what does that mean for e-ink panels and screens and technology itself more money more rapid development more rapid exposure which means broader audience which means lower prices and faster improvement and development of the technology itself and that in itself is why I think that this development is incredibly important for the e-ink world. And I really like what I see. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what I do and if you like the channel, please consider subscribing, liking the video and leaving a comment down below what you think about this BMW iX Flow and the whole thing. Also check out in the link down below the My Daily Organizer. Uh, there's a link to the uh, video playlist which where you can find videos that describe what it is. It's a daily, monthly, weekly, the quarterly yearly planner organizer that has helped many many people so far and maybe it's something that can help you out in your daily organizing and managing of your daily routines so check out the video and see if that product is something that you like or not stay safe stay healthy and see you in the next video bye